James Wiseman. Number two overall. Everyone says he's a bust. The guy's practically a rookie. People don't understand. This guy barely played in college. Barely played in the NBA so far. The game's still fast for him. Give the guy the benefit of the doubt. There's a reason why they trade. They said the reason why they traded Sadiq Bay away and you know got themselves James Wiseman is that they thought James Wiseman at this point in his career had more potential than Sadiq Bay had at this point in his career. And I know everyone's going to sit here and be like, oh, James Wiseman only had 11 points. He was 5 for 9 from the field, okay? He attempted a three-pointer. And also, I've been documenting, the guy's been extending his range. He had five rebounds. Yes, he was a negative nine. The team lost. Shout out Boyan for a good game. So did Jaden Ivey. But let, let's talk about the encouraging sign that we saw. First off, we, we just want to discuss, you know, how he scored out there. I thought it was good, okay? You know, he just stayed efficient, kept it simple and just took the the shots that came towards him which is what you need to do yeah he took two mid-range jumpers he made one he didn't make the other and besides that the rest of it was he was out there okay and i i thought that was something fun to watch he was just taking the the shots inside the paints and let's talk about how wiseman looked okay it was encouraging the guy's a seven footer in the third year of his career and yeah, he had an ill-advised shot with 14 seconds remaining on the shot clock, but that was the three-point shot, and I think that was just him getting the like you know the jitters out. But he scored his first point on the following following possession after the three-point shot, and he was driving you know from the free throw line, finishing you know through Luke Cornett, and you know there was another where. He was able to take it and, you know, get himself a mid-range jumper as well. I just thought we were seeing a James Wiseman who, you know, when Grant Williams and Luke Cornett double teamed him, he caught the ball at the, you know, at the left block. And, he, you know, instead of passing out, he did this nice, you know, hook shot over the both of them. And yeah, a pass would have been the safer option. And that's something he'll just learn. But this just shows his soft, soft touch, soft, soft touch on the ball. And... The other thing, his final shot was him bumping Grant Williams. I know Grant Williams is small, but out of the way on a post move. And defensively, he played with more effort than we've seen with the Warriors, and he was able to handle himself during some switches. And for me, I think, again, Tatum did blow by him on an isolation switch. But again, they staggered Wiseman's endurance minutes, and he shared the floor with Isaiah Stewart for a little bit, and he was a lone big man for a little bit again as well. But it was... Duran and Wiseman were switching with each other. Stewart and Wiseman were able to play together. So the the big thing is now can they who's the better fit? It seems like they like Wiseman and Stewart better together, not sharing the floor with Duran because we haven't seen Wiseman and Duran play together. And given the shared available minutes at the five, they really it's Stewart's knocked down, you know, four of six three point attempts, showing that he can space. So I think right now we're looking like, you know, Wiseman will have to prove himself as a shooter when asked to play the four, as he missed his only lone three of the night, but he did look good on those mid ranges. And it's going to see if we do, if they do use him as a power forward to try playing with Duran. But I, I do think it was, it was interesting. And Hey, I think, look, it was good. It was good. I... I'm not going to sit here and nitpick at it. I think they're, again, I think the big question for all of us is they have Marvin Bagley, which they did the same thing for Marvin Bagley last year. And I know Marvin Bagley, you know, is out right now. But with, you assume Stewart, Dern, Wiseman, Bagley. And then you also have Livers, who's kind of a four. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting how it all ends up, okay? And I don't know. What well, what are your guys' thoughts? I thought, you know, it's it's gonna be interesting, okay? I do wanna know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? There I think there's just things to figure out and get an idea of like what is Wiseman's true potential. Cause now they can just let him play, okay? And he played about almost 24 minutes, so I thought it was good. It was good. We're not going to sit here and nitpick. I just think we need to just look at this. 
and understand that let's be patient it's a calm you know a calm approach and i think it can work out rather well for this team so i want to hear your guys is you know opinions on this whole thing and was there anything you guys would you know would have wanted to hear about james wiseman's press conference was in like i know we didn't really get to see i don't think james wiseman necessarily had a had a press conference with the pistons i haven't been able to find one but i think in the past you know we've been able to see him play as a you know a good player so i i don't know I'll, I'll, i think there's just stuff out there where he can be a good guy for this team